where there is no judge on earth, the appeal lies to God in heaven. What worries you, masters you? Wherever law ends, tyranny begins. Liberty is to be free from restraint and violence from others. With books, we stand on the shoulders of giants. Where there is no law, there is no freedom. Every man has a property in his own person. This nobody has a right to but himself. Reading furnishes the mind only with materials of knowledge. It is thinking that makes what we read ours. All mankind, being all equal and independent, no one ought to harm another in his life, health, liberty, or possessions. Education begins the gentleman, but reading, good company, and reflection must finish him. I have always thought the actions of men the best interpreters of their thoughts. The discipline of desire is the background of character. No man's knowledge here can go beyond his experience. The Bible is one of the greatest blessings bestowed by God on the children of men. It has God for its author, salvation for its end, and truth without any mixture for its matter. It's all pure. Reason must be our last judge and guide in everything. Success in fighting means not coming at your opponent the way he wants to fight you. To love our neighbor as ourselves is such a truth for regulating human society that by that alone one might determine all the cases in social morality. It is one thing to persuade, another to command, one thing to press with arguments, another with penalties. There are a thousand ways to wealth, but only one way to heaven. Nothing is in the intellect that was not first in the senses. Good and evil Reward and punishment are the only motives to a rational creature. The chief art of learning is to attempt but a little at a time. Our business here is not to know all things, but those which concern our conduct. Where there is no desire, there will be no industry. Consciousness is the perception of what passes in man's own mind. A sound mind and a sound body is a short but full description of a happy state in this world. All wealth is the product of labor. It is practice alone that brings the powers of the mind as well as those of the body to their perfection. Knowledge is grateful to the understanding as light to the eyes. If punishment reaches not the mind and makes not the will supple, it hardens the offender. Things of this world are in so constant a flux that nothing remains long in the same state. Habits wear more constantly and with greatest force than reason, which, when we have most need of it, is seldom fairly consulted and more rarely obeyed. The thoughts that come often and sought, and as it were, drop into the mind, are commonly the most valuable of any we have. Reading furnishes the mind only with materials of knowledge. It is thinking that makes what we read ours. 
I have always thought the actions of men the best interpreters of their thoughts. Education begins the gentleman, but reading, good company, and reflection must finish him. To love truth for truth's sake is the principal part of human perfection in this world and the seed plot of all other virtues. What worries you masters you. Few men think, yet all will have opinions. Hence, men's opinions are superficial and confused. Nothing is in the intellect that was not first in the senses. The most precious of all possessions is power over ourselves. The end of law is not to abolish or restrain, but to preserve and enlarge freedom. Men's actions are the best guides to their thoughts. Men living together according to reason, without a common superior on earth, with authority to judge between them, is properly the state of nature. Every man has a property in his person. This nobody has a right to but himself. Virtue is harder to be got than knowledge of the world, and if lost in a young man, it's seldom recovered. There are some men of one, some but of two syllogisms, and no more, and others that can but advance one step further. These two are the fountains of knowledge from whence all the ideas we have or can naturally have do spring. The Bible is one of the greatest blessings bestowed by God on the children of men. It has God for its author, salvation for its end, and truth without any mixture for its matter. It's all pure. Reason must be our last judge and guide in everything. Success in fighting means not coming at your opponent the way he wants to fight you. To love our neighbor as ourselves is such a truth for regulating human society that by that alone one might determine all the cases in social morality. Liberty is to be free from restraint and violence from others. With books, we stand on the shoulders of giants. Where there is no law, there is no freedom. Every man has a property in his own person. This nobody has a right to but himself. If you enjoy our videos, make sure you subscribe and click on the like button for more inspirational quotes.